Okay, so as I was uh, doing something to my ear, I noticed that this handle had a face. There's an eye there, there's a nose, it looks like a button, nose trigger, and a mouth. And this is the cheekbone. And this is that thing, you know, like Magneto wears a suit that goes up past his neck and hits the bottom jaw. That's what that looks like. And crims around to the bottom lip. It's literally a chin down there. It's a, it's just a face. It's a, it's, a <laughs> it's a conscious thing. And it even has a light body that, you know, its crown character has a smile there and a big nose with an eye that sits and looks like that whenever... Uh, uh, it just sits around. So this everything is coming to life. Then with an electrical perception that goes all the way, this is going to create an electrical light covering that sits on top that moves these contours like it's talking, animated. And that's the story of Cinderella, the fairy godmother, makes everything come to life and talk. If you listen to Green Day, Brain Stew, he says the clock is laughing in his face, the eyes feel like they're going to bleed, all that stuff that we go through when we go through these transitions. So, funny enough... This same screwdriver I'm using, if you take a look at the bottom, there's this mojo, and then the light comes on the end of it, and I realize relatively, rel relativity to it because my own penis has been shocking me with electrical impulses on the end of the tip. Very interesting. I'll talk to you more about what happens later as it grows because it gets bigger, and it's not supposed to have a short... Uh, ending to it it's supposed to come out like a hose and they've been showing me stuff and i'm like wow so we're like the soldier boy song super soak you know superman song and then uh the yin yang twins wait until you see my blank and then uh from the window to the wall that whole thing is like it's supposed to flow out like crazy so if you sing these songs to yourself you know what it, <laughs> you know what i mean and uh and it's heavy it gets it gets heavy like it's uh, like it's gonna expand more. It's like what the hell. So yeah, keep rubbing the turpentine on your body. Watch my videos. Uh, you can do this for yourself. It is very gratifying. It gives you a lot of confidence. It it, it also connects that antenna goes to the top, and uh, same thing for women too. You know their antennas inverted and same kind of thing. All right, so. This ear here, we thought this was the eardrum, but all it is is a bunch of sludge compact together. It smells like ass. So when it comes out, you reveal a bunch of cave uh, DNA nodes, and then it goes down to the end. In the end, if this ring is down here and all this is compressed down, you might rupture this, but you don't get the electrical response. Like I was blowing steam out of the ear, like a little heat and stuff. But now that this ring is up here, and I've got this chef hat situation going on, which uh, undoubtedly is going to end up turning into that because this thing is expanding, and now I see where it comes from. It's coming from comes from this top bottleneck, blows up like a chef's hat. This stays straight, and then it turns into uh, a cat in a hat or the crackle bag, uh, something like that. So it started out that way, and then it came up and then it got straight, and it whittles itself down to the top hat. Then it blows out the top hat like a chef's hat. Then this has to turn into that. That's what I'm saying. This represents like the bottlenecks because it spreads out, gets wider, and uh, takes over the whole space. And this represents like the uh, the uh, uh, the windy climb that you made up. You know, that's what it feels like to me. All right, what else? Yeah, so I am um, now got the ring so high. And I've got it down past all this nasty sludge. It's all gone. The infection's gone. I have to penetrate this rock right here. This is like a burst plug. It's black. It's hard like a rock. And if I take this drill bit with that screwdriver and I screw into it, it's going to puncture this and make the electromagnetic uh, energy come out. Now, what I noticed is, is the first time I punctured it, I did not get this response. I then put the screwdriver in it now, and it electrocuted me. Then I said, did I just get electrocuted? So I put it in there again <laughs> and it's like, Zzz. now how bad is that? So I realized it wasn't enough to make me stop doing it. But what I'm probably going to need is, uh, you know, for comfort reasons, is to make a clay handle and cook it and stick this in there with some super glue and twist it manually and get it to penetrate that wall. This is a nasty, uh, itchy, uh, like scab type 
uh, calcificated thing that holds back firepower, like of the brain. And then your whole thing pops out. Just like the butt old surfers. Electric Larry Land, he, he, he breaches this and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, his eyes pop out. So the heat gets so hot, it makes all of it come out and then he, he wakes up. So that's what they're showing you on the Electric Larry Land Butthole Surfers cover. And they're also telling you to stimulate your root chakra so you can also see. That's what the title is also saying. So it's not even like a real band that really wanted to have. They're showing you, hey, this is how you get out. That's like their whole fucking steez. So they're not even thinking with their own mind. Also, funny enough, this flares out when it gets up past this, but it's temporary. It doesn't stick around, it seems. But it flares out kind of like a... Like a LL Cool J's Kango hat, and then it uh then it goes away. Pretty interesting. What else? What else is there to talk about? So, once I get this figured out and screw that open, it should just start you know having another level of reaction, and you're gonna see it live on Grim Nasty TV. So stay tuned for more, because you know this is gonna happen any day now. You know I'm either gonna push it out or I'm gonna screw it out. Either way it goes, this is happening. So, stay tuned and stay awake.